Hey guys, Wally and Murphy here, and in today's episode, we are working once again on my classic mini. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to give a huge shout out to paintsforyou.com. Uh, I ordered the paint online through the website and it arrived next day. And they've colour matched it um, to my specific requirements um, and hopefully it's going to work really well. So what I'm going to do today is I'm, I was hoping to put the top coat on. However, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit not quite ready for it. So what I'm going to do today is strip down the clutch and the brake master cylinder so I can clean up fully the back of the bulkhead. There's no point going to this much effort to paint what I want to paint unless I do the whole thing. So what I was going to do was paint everything I've done and then get down into the corners and paint them, but I'm just wasting time. So I'm going to strip them all out. It does now mean that I'm going to have to remove them dreaded clevis pins. Um, from the, both the clutch and the brake, but these things happen, so let's get the job done and then we can worry about that at a later date. Okay, one of the next jobs to do is to remove the brake and the clutch master cylinder. So I've undone the two bolts or the two nuts either side and I've just got to go inside the car and hopefully release the clevis pin. Once that's done, I should be able to lift out. Right, okay, so inside the car. The first pedal I'm going to try and release is the brake. So this is this middle one. Um, and if you look up through this gap here, hopefully I can zoom in and there we go. You see that one in the distance? Just the end of my finger up here. That is the brake clevis pin. So I need to remove that pin or the split pin and then the pin needs to push out and I can lift the brake master cylinder straight out okay so i've managed to get the split pin out and now if you're going to see up on the tip of my finger up here that is where the pin sits you can see that there Let's push that back out As I say, space is extremely uh, limited. Let's try and grab that with some pliers. So there's the pin. Now in theory, lift this out. lift this out over there so next up is to release the clutch slave cylinder same principle again for the two bolts one is accessible quite easily, the other one is underneath the actual unit. So I have to use a spanner for that one. Okay, so the two bolts are now off. So back in under the car, or back inside the car, and try and release that clevis pin and the split pin. Right, the clothes pins out. What an absolute pig that was. But hopefully, with a bit of a jiggle, slight bit of persuasion maybe. Thank you. 
Right, it's off. I think what I'll do is, I think I'll get a new one of these because it's seen better days to be honest. So uh, yeah, uh, thankfully, I know this bracket's just bent, I've got a new bracket. I'm gonna get a new gasket for this as well. But I'll, paint it, I'll clean it all up, paint it all up, and then hopefully it'll look much better than it does now. So I'm gonna get the wire wheel on the one, the grinder. Which is this attachment here. This is the one that nearly lost me my finger. I'm just going to clean up this bulkhead here and I'm going to paint it pretty much about halfway. I've got a cover that goes underneath it, uh, on top of that, so it's not the end of the world. And I'm looking to replace these coolant hoses as well because I don't think they've ever been done. So there's a few jobs I want to do. Uh, most of them just to tidy up the looks of in here and hopefully make it a bit more reliable as well. So I need a new accelerator cable, a new speedo cable. Uh, a new heater cable as well. I'm going to swap this out for potentially one of the DSN classic ones or the retro ones they're making. Um, a new gasket underneath. I can fit my um, new bushes onto here and then we are laughing. So um, yeah, and pretty much that's, that's it for today. The strip down of the bulkhead. I'm going to clean all this up paint it in primer and hopefully, or ho I paint it in stove chip then in primer and hopefully we can get the top coat on very very soon. So that's it from me for today guys, if you have enjoyed this video please give that a thumbs up button, comment down below and if you can subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. We seem to be getting good tracks with this and hopefully we'll be done very soon so fingers crossed and I'll see you next time.